My name is MJ Kim, the spokesperson on behalf of the Federation of Korean Canadian Association and President Jom Sik Ju. I'm going to give you a message to express the voice against COVID-19 incidents of racism and hate crimes toward Asians. Immigration has been an important part of Canadian history and has an essential role to play in the future of Canada's growth and prosperity. Immigrants have been welcomed and have integrated into Canadian society while immigrants have been welcomed and have integrated into Canadian society while retaining their culture, language, and traditions. Canada has always taken pride in the cultural mosaic that has defined this great nation. However, with the onset of COVID-19, incidents of racism and hate crimes towards Asians has been on the rise. Sadly, this is not the Canada we know and love. Since the first Canadian missionaries arrived in on Korean so shores 130 years ago, Canada and Korea has shared a long history that has formed a deep root friendship. This bond was cemented when in 1950 uh, Canadians volunteered to protect South Koreans whose lives were threatened after communist forces invaded. Over 26,000 Canadians fought in the Korean War and 516 Canadian soldiers died for the freedom South Korea enjoyed today. This is the Canada we know and love. As the duly elected president of the Federation of Korean Association in Canada, representing 24 Korean Canadian Association and a nation community more than a quarter million people across Canada, strongly urge the government of Canada to work with the territorial, provincial, and municipal partners to combat this growing crisis and to adopt measures to protect Canada's Asian minorities from the racist acts and hate crimes. We ask the punishment for the race basis hate crimes to be strengthened. We ask the, that there be put in place adequate protection and support for the victims of these crimes. We ask that an action group be established to open a dialogue on racism and hate crimes with the Asian community with the goal to end this crisis. Canada has always been a global leader of human rights and has always stood for what is right and honorable in the world. It is our hope that go the government of Canada will recognize the importance of Asian Canadian contributions to the fabric of the, this great cultural mosaic and will do what is the right and honorable by committing to work with our communities to end race-based violence and hatred. Thank you very much.